Hi Leo, welcome to your after the retrograde forecast for couples. Now please take note that this is a general reading and it doesn't really apply to all. Please check your moon risings as well, okay? Let's take a look what's going on in your relationship. Plus, I will be doing four different spreads. One is um, how do you see each other? How do you hurt each other? Um, where do you go from here? And the bottom line. Now let's take a look, Leo. I'll be doing the um, how do you hurt each other first, okay? Okay, Leo. Mm -hmm. It seems like both of you are struggling to make this relationship work, especially if you're with a water sign. Okay. Now let's take a look. How do you see each other? This is how you see your partner, how your partner sees you, what they expect from the other, what does your partner expect from you, where do you want to go from here? Well, how do you actually see each other? Uh, okay, this is more likely, you know, that thing called wrong connection. The two of you love each other, but you cannot really get along with each other. You know, there's there's actually a um, uh, the type of people or the type of couples like that. That no matter how much they love each other, they keep on clashing because both of them doesn't want to, you know, give way and uh, try to compromise. Or you know, one of them needs to be an adult, and if the other one is an immature uh, person or partner, then you just need to keep on understanding. But at this point in this relationship, both of you are so ready to go on a battle. Both of you have been hurt in the past. Okay? Your partner have um, already, like, um, given you a lot of reasons to walk away. Especially that there has been a history of betrayal in the past. Either you or your partner that has already, you know, endured in this kind of illicit affair or illicit connection. And you feel like right now you just don't want to resolve anything anymore. You don't want to, you know, come up with a solution or you don't want to talk about it anymore. You just want to shut down. You just want to, you know, separate, cut it off, move on, move forward and forget about everything. Now, your partner, even though they are the one who's doing something on the side, it seems like they're the one who's still thinking about... It's like they're still balancing their options. Um, like, uh, if they leave, then what will be the consequences? Or if they stay, what's going to happen? Because, of course, the two of you are so bitter and hurt and um, kind of living in a lot of hurt and pain and anguish, unforgiving moments, unforgiving you know, um, emotional discomfort and pain. And you are still doing this to each other. None of you wants to forgive and none of you wants to take a few steps back to at least give way and understand why did the other person did that to the other. It's like both of you have your own reasons, logic. Both of you wants to justify your own feelings that I did this because you made me do this. You know, it's like you made me like this. You made me like that. And then the other person, what? I did not do anything to you. You know, it's you. So the blaming game just keeps on going and going and going and going. That nobody wants to admit that it's their fault. Nobody wants to, okay, I'm sorry. Let's, you know, just tell me how we can make this work. Both of you feels like you are you don't really owe each other an apology. Okay? Now... And uh, yeah, still, both, you know, um, both sides. Um, 
water sign person came out. So it seems like for those Leo who is in a who's with a water sign, it seems like right now you're already suffering from a lot of anguish and suffering from a lot of sleepless nights because you your partner as well, sorry. Your partner is also afraid to lose you. Now you are the one who has more, let's say, more financially established or you're more mm, earning more than your partner. Because I feel like there are a lot of ego problems here and there are a lot of... Um, the other person is looking for some constant stimulation and constant attention as well, even though you're always, you know, busy. Well, your partner who's, you know, has got a lot of time in their hands. They are the one who's been playing around, playing with the fire. See, the devil came out. And it seems like, you know, it seems like they are, they're, it's like for now, they just want to, you know, justify that, you know, I did not do anything to you. You made me do this. You pushed me to do this. I have tried in the past. And this, that, and this, and that, this, and that. Okay, well, you, it's like, nope. I don't, you know, I did not do anything. It is not my fault. And, you know, it's just pure you. Now, somehow, you are having second thoughts whether this relationship is still worth keeping for or whether it's just really time to move on your partner on the other hand will also you know there will be a success that's going to be coming their way but i feel like it's only momentarily they want to be successful in work they want to be successful in their own careers it's like there's there's something that they want to prove to you to themselves to other people and they want an applause they want an attention they want recognition and validation which is, you know, most of the insecure people, this is their main weakness. Okay? Now, even though this person used to be your life and this person used to be, mean everything to you, you are already, like, you know, stuck there out in the cold and you don't know where to turn to. At this point, you feel like you're so alone that nobody wants to answer your not really prayers, but nobody wants to answer your rants and, uh, you know, all the things that you've been keeping on the inside. It's like, well, people have already advised you in the past to leave this person, but you did not because you still believe that there is still beauty and there is still goodness in this person because the two of you love each other, but then it just got even worse, okay? Now, for your partner... They are just full of tricks, okay? They just keep on playing tricks. They just keep on pulling off their magic, their, you know, and all of these illusions. They're living in an illusion. And you will be making the decision right away. I feel like this coming month of September. And your, your partner will be starting a new family altogether soon. You will soon learn how to be happy along with the company of your friends. And I feel like don't rush into finding a new love or jumping into another relationship because chances are you would just get hurt now your partner will somehow try to show you that they are being strong and that they can be strong and that they can love themselves as well well you you will have to go through some period of you know releasing the distress and releasing the the toxic and um, negative energy that has been you know stuck inside your body so some health problems will also arise and some health issues that you will soon find out while your partner will be you know acting a little bit uh, defensive and different and um, cold you know for the next few months right after your separation and you on the other hand since that you love your partner most you're the one who will try to bridge down the gap and still communicate but you don't want to reconcile anymore how you hurt each other. Your partner feels sometimes that they can always outsmart people and that is, and you're one of them, okay? They always mask their intentions, feelings, their words, you know, the truth. It's always, you know, the things that they've been telling you, it's always far from the truth. And they always make it appear that they are not lying 
and that they are a trustworthy person, so that when they lie right in front of you, you're not gonna notice that they are. But in fact, it's just that you don't really have time for this kind of crap, and you keep on observing and even enlisting some of the things that they have been doing right in front of you you know so right now your partner feels like mm, you know they have taken you for uh, for a fool and um, uh, they thought that they can drag you down you know and your partner feels that you are too intuitive and um, it's like you cannot It's like they cannot really outsmart you sometimes. They are trying, but when you, once you open up your mouth, you always say the truth. Okay? That always takes them back. So, you, on the other hand, I feel like, you know, I feel like um, you are already like reserving yourself, your anger, your emotions, and everything else because you have been living in miseries for such a long period of time and you just couldn't really take it anymore now your partner is also the same because they cannot really do whatever it is that they want in a relationship and they cannot you know it's like they're also feeling stubborn because they want to be free yet they don't want to cut off the, the uh, connections with you because they still need you and this is what results in both struggle from both sides this person is very ambitious and living in an illusion while you, it's like you're trying to give them their reality but they keep on living in their fantasy and their so-called world. Now, you still have a lot of feelings for this person. As I've said, you know, right after the separation for a few months, you're the one who's going to be bridging the, uh, the gap. Well, this person will be the one who will try and... Uh, build up the walls okay so it's like the bottom line is it's still hanging okay so let's take a look where do you go from here and what will be the bottom line i'll be using the after terror deck for the bottom line all right This is your situation right now. This is what causes the problem. What you've forgotten to express. What you've forgotten to respect. There's your solution. Oh, and the bottom line. Well, let's take a look. What will be the bottom line? Because I feel like this relationship is really about to end. Let's see if the bottom line will be telling a different thing. This is you, your partner. You are you thinking? Let's look for a... Uh, oh, Leo. Um, I feel like it's not really worth saving this relationship, you know? Now, where do you go from here? It, it looks like the, you know, the opportunity is really slim. 
the opportunity is really small. It seems like you need to rebuild things and start from scratch, okay? Both of you feels cut off and dry and mean and cruel and I feel like from both sides you don't really want to, you know, work it out even though there are a lot of things that at stake. Now your partner feels, you know, all high and mighty and aggressive and you, you feel like you should have known your lesson and you should have known well at this point. And then, you know, if ever that you already have a child or children, then most likely that they are the one who's going to be at the bitter end of this separation and this divorce. Because both of you really wants it to end. None of you wants to make it work. Because as I've said, nobody wants to admit the fault and nobody wants to give way or to compromise. Now, the bottom line here is... You want to reshape your world. You want to find yourself again. You want to know who you really are again. Because every time that you face the mirror, you cannot really recognize yourself anymore. And you keep on asking, where did you go? And you also miss your old self. You know, it's like you keep on asking what happened to you after all those years and... Um, you kind of miss the old you. Not your old life, but the old you. Because this relationship that has swallowed you whole and created a big void inside of you. It's like that big gaping hole have already, you know, melted or swallowed the, uh, the old you. Even your confidence, even your beauty. Even your, you know, your, your, your integrity as well. Now, at this point, I feel like you want to rule your own life. And you want to create the, um, you know, the right solution. Because you wanted to do this right from the very beginning. But you still believe that this person could take your relationship to the next level. And your relationship could at least, you know, get better in time. Because you still believe in this person because of your love. But unfortunately, you're not really in the same page, okay? As I've said, and this person, their insecurities, instead of making it small, it has grown bigger, okay? Their ego grow bigger rather than their love for you. So you will be traveling or you are thinking of moving or traveling within the next two days, two weeks, and two months. And even if you don't want to leave your foundation altogether, even if you don't want to go, you feel like you cannot really hang on anymore. You feel like you need some movement. You need to, it's like you need to, you know, like um, create a major decision, a, a major move, you know. Something that you want to start in a place where nobody else knows you. Start afresh. Now, your, uh, your partner, on the other hand, I feel like they're already balancing their option as well, you know. It seems like the reason why they're having some second thoughts and they're, you know, thinking about the consequences if they leave or stay is because I don't feel like after all those years of the things that, you know, that you have gone through and you, the problems that you did not really discuss, the love that used to be there became need, okay? Now, somehow, you are still your partner's life and, you know, uh, they still consider it their destiny. That's why they're having second thoughts, as I've said. You know, the two of swords came out here. But they're the one who's going to be making the decision as well. Still, at the end of the day, whatever they desire, whatever they want, and whatever they are thinking that's only better for themselves and for their own happiness will be the one that they will follow. Now, if ever, because I asked for clarifications, if ever that you are going to push through or right after this so-called separation, the two of you re will reconcile again, your partner will still hurt you. Nothing will change. Same old page, same old story. You, on the other hand, I feel like you just need to... You know when you eat something bad and you... Right after that, you, you're going to feel sick? That is what's going to happen to you. But right after vomiting everything, you are going to feel better. Because finally, you've already unloaded you know, what's inside of you. But... 
you will be more careful for the next relationship, for the next person that you're going to be meeting because you don't want to make the same mistakes again. Okay, so Leo, the decision is up to you. You know, this is, you know, I'm, um, this is a general reading. Okay, so whether it's the other way around or, you know, it's the same, it's up to you. Because um, it won't, re this won't resonate to all the Leos out there. And, you know, um, I feel like it's just time for you to take a few steps back and see the bigger picture. What it is that you're missing. Alright? So anyway, if you want to talk to me live in the phone or live video calls, go and visit me at my website at sophiaangel.net. Blessings to you.